From the ashes a fire shall be woken. A light from the shadows shall spring. Renewed shall be blade that was broken. Groundless again shall be king. What is this, boys and girls? This is the newest short-barreled shotgun in the arsenal, and this one, uh, we're gonna get to the gun itself here in just a second, but this one has a backstory that I wanted to tell before we go any further. So I was out hunting with my brother out in Iowa, duck hunting, and Iowa is infested with this trash bird called a coot. And if you don't know what a coot is, a coot is basically like a duck and a pigeon had a bastard child, and it seasons its meat with mud. And because it tastes like shit, uh, nobody eats it. And because nobody eats it, nobody shoots it. And ammunition's expensive, so they basically just get absolutely under overrun out there. And some of the marshes that we've hunted uh, actually aren't all that bad. And you see them like twos and threesies, you know, fives here or there, until we went to southern Iowa. And there was one marsh that we went to that where there were literally a thousand of them to the point where we're like we didn't bring enough ammunition to do this today there's got to be a more efficient way so we started consulting the game rules uh which game rules don't even get me started on game rules uh, the whole like taking your right to keep and bear arms and then selling it back to you just because you want to use it against a duck yeah got it according to the game rules you cannot use a punt gun you cannot use a grenade launcher you cannot use a machine gun and i'm like well crap what's left so we started looking around and we were like, you know what, black powder's not. So we were gonna get a blunderbuss. In fact, I was two clicks away from ordering a blunderbuss for this operation. Uh, unfortunately, it said that it was gonna be like 14 weeks for a delivery and that's just not gonna work for us. So plan B, got on the horn, called my buddies at Henry and this started life as one of their single shot 12 gauges. And this is unique in 12 in that this is one of the only single shot 12 gauges that I'm aware of that is chambered for three and a half inch magnums. And it just so happens that we have a whole bunch of goose loads laying around. So <laughs> that's the primary load on this guy right here. Now, coincidentally, when I called them up, they had just got done doing a whole bunch of retrofits on the entire line of this shotgun from Henry. It's also offered in a brass receiver, but what they did was change a whole bunch of tensions up in here. So everything from the tension on the release to the tension on the hammer to the hammer, or the tension on the trigger all changed around. And you can see that it's got some very, very pretty wood going on here uh, that we are absolutely going to dick up uh, through using it out in the boat. And basically what I did is I filed all the paperwork, did all that sort of stuff. Again, I understand federal paperwork on guns, got it 100%, but we didn't do this the legal way. 
and uh, basically fitted it with a 16 inch barrel instead of the standard 28 inch barrel that comes with the thing and put a fiber optic there on the end. And basically, I'm out here right now with the sun going down because I want to see if I can't capture some fireballs after it goes down just a little bit more. Brace for impact. Three, two, one. <laughs> you got to aim a little bit higher there, boss. <laughs> so through the powers of movie magic, we have the full ink gun again. Notes, 28 inch barrel, and it comes stock with a mod choke. And you're like, dude, why are you wearing chest rig? This is actually in testing right now, so if this hasn't come out yet, I'm sorry. If it has, I'll have it linked in the description box down below, but this is an HRT plate carrier with the Maximus organizer. We're gonna be running two different types of ammunition. We've got our waterfowl loads, three and a half inch magnum. And then what I'm very, very interested in is here, we have some double lot buckshot. Shotgun shingle basically clicks in right like that. 10 yards. <laughs> two shot out of the three and a half inch magnum. Looking good. Double lot. 15 yards. There you have it. Wad there. And then a good peppering. 15 yards. And then, of course, all pellets. 20 yards. And I think we're going to stop here. Kind of the effective range I thought about anyway. <laughs> You can see that we got a decent spread at 20. And then you can't really see it because it's down here. All pellets on, 20 yards. All right, it is chronograph time. And I think we're just gonna shoot one a piece for the initial because to be honest, I don't care about the super precise number that it was before we converted it. So we'll just start with waterfowl and then move to double lot. It came with a modified choke, and I can't really remember whether that's good for slugs or not, so we didn't shoot the choked barrel with slugs. Well, now we're gonna see if it'll run slugs. I have some two and three quarters, uh, one ounce slugs from Fioki here. So here we go. We're gonna see if we can't hit that big piece of steel down there. Here we go. Actually, I'm pretty sure that I just hit it dead center. <laughs> Let's see if we can duplicate it or if it's luck. Nope, totally doable. It chill, she will shoot slugs. We're gonna do a buckshot first. Slug. I steal waterfowl load. Fuck that. <laughs> I've never shot one of those before. How did that feel, Nate? Horrible. Yeah, <laughs> not so much on the three and a half inch magnums? No. I don't like that at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. 10 yards. Okay, 10 yards, waterfowl load, good spread, and buckshot, all pellets on. All right, same thing, 15 yards. <laughs> you can see the difference. So this is our pattern for the 15 yard, looking pretty good. And then all pellets on with the buckshot with our wad basically cracking. You ever wondered how bad that would hurt? It, it cracked this piece of wood here. So, ouch. All right, time for 20 yards.
we're starting to get more of a band, which is kind of what we're going for, for this particular setup. And of course, for HD, all pellets on, 20 yards. Owie. Oh, my ears. Although you kicked up a few ducks. <laughs> So testing the SBS here, and I tried to see if I could get a really corroded one in there. I found two. This one has been laying here for a while. Let's see if it's any good. Remember kids, never shoot steel at steel. Totally works. Doesn't eject though. No eject view. Ah! Is it handy? This is for science. You're gonna shoot the cloud? Yes, for science. No, it's the cloud. Don't shoot the cloud. Oh, my ears. Dude, <laughs> shot your decoys. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> you did. No, I didn't. <laughs> you did. You totally shot those decoys. <laughs> oh man, you dumbass. What the heck? Here, take this stupid stick.